Louisiana Beer Reviews Special Edition Kentucky Vanilla Barrel Cream Ale Revisited. This is from Lexington Brewing. Kentucky Proud. Established 1999. Uh, the Beer of Bourbon Country. Cream Ale with natural flavors added aged in oak bourbon barrels. That's the only kind of barrels allowed for bourbon is oak. So anyway they add vanilla to it and um, aging in the barrels. Uh, 17 bitterness units. All right. They said they're the everyday bourbon barrel aged beer. I was looking at their video they made for YouTube. The everyday bourbon barrel beer. And they say it's not a 12% impossible to find barrel aged stout, you know. But those aren't really impossible to find anymore. Um, they're kind of common now, and a lot of them just stay on the shelf. Stay on the shelves, especially when they like fourteen dollars. People are not as excited about buying them anymore. I don't think. Anyway, off white head. Um, it's overcast here this morning. It's a charge, a big, strong charge on it. A lot of bubbles there you see in this orange gold appearance. Little King's Cream Ale, I didn't like. I had it, we can't get it here, but um, it tasted metallic to me. I, I tried the bottle version, I never tried the can. Um, Genesee Cream Ale is great, I love it, and pretty much can't find any other cream ales, so it's a style that nobody deals with. Okay, but can, Lexington Brewery does the Vanilla Barrel Cream Ale. All right. I wish they were more common, but it is what it is. Smell like vanilla. Strong vanilla. Um, get some bourbon barrel there. I don't know what company's barrels they're using. They don't say. Now, from what I could tell. Could be just a combination, you know, like, like nothing's specific just whatever barrels they happen to grab and it, you know it could be that kind of thing light body it's the first thing I noticed that the body is not heavy it's light lighter than you would expect for a 5.5 percent or sweetness level You've got the vanilla flavoring the sweetness so it's natural vanilla right Trying to beat the rain, it's coming. Yeah, natural vanilla, not artificial vanilla flavor. You can buy the artificial at the store and the natural. Take your pick. Artificial is going to be nearly twice as much as you would expect. I mean, the natural is going to be twice as much as you would expect. So it tastes like vanilla. Um, the sweetness scale, three out of five sugar cubes. Three out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness, it's low. Two out of five hop cones at the most. Probably not that high. Finish, mostly dry. So it's a nice, pleasant beer. Some of the Alltech beers, Lexington Brewing Company beers, are kind of not that good. They have kind of strange off flavors. Um, but... Seem like they've been improving over the years, 23 years. There's room for improvement. Not the only company who has improved, so could keep getting better. Beautiful looking product. They also make pet food, so they found that a lot of the ingredients used in pet food can be used in beer. That's when they started brewing in 1999. So, interesting way to do it. So Les Les Bon Ton Relay, I'm going to go with 94 out of 100. Yeah, it's really that good. $2.99 for the single at Mathern's. It's cheaper, I guess, if you buy the six-pack. Yes, so $2.79. Sorry, $2.79 for the bottle. So Les Les Bon Ton Relay, a most excellent vanilla flavor, only vanilla flavored cream ale I've ever had from Kentucky. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Kentucky, Lexington, and tour the Lexington Brewery.